Yo, 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 once again, it's your boy Shadow from YouTube channel. Go get a type. You already know what it is. You already know what it is. Today, what I'm doing is a unpackaging. It's the on time, um, Andis. It's the Andis, um, on time clipper adjustment, the blade adjustment, um, joint for Andis. End up getting this from Amazon. I think it was like eleven dollars or something like that. <clears throat> and here we go. It's called the On the Money Blade Setter by Rich the Barber. Um, it's a black joint, and it's for these two clippers, these two trimmers I got. It's for Andy's. I'ma try it out for a wall. It, it didn't say that it's for a wall. But um, I'm going to definitely try it out for the walls too. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to do everything for myself. That's the whole motto. Doing everything for myself. Shit, even if you fuck up, just keep grinding. Keep doing it for yourself. It is what it is. You're going to get better. I'm getting better every day we go. All right, so here we go. So this is the product right here. Oh, look at that. That iPhone is doing a good job on the Zoom. It's an auto money blade setter. Pretty simple, you know what I'm saying? Simple machine made out of plastic. Um, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Nice, sturdy. Nice, sturdy. It seems like it's going to get the job done. Um, so, what I'm going to do, I'm going first, I'm going to untangle all these um, cords here. Get these joints untangled. Get them untangled, boy. <clears throat> Actually, right, so got both of them untangled now. I'm gonna use my use my little screwdriver. Let me see if that zoom can get in there. Yeah, hey, this camera nice. I'm telling you, this joint nice. Come on, focus in there. Uh, a little flathead. Use the flathead side of it. Let's see if we get up in there. Hey, let me know if y'all need a um a tutorial on how to modify these these trimmers. I just cut that joint off. Um, let's see. We got one out. We got two out. All right. And if you watch my last video, basically, what I did was I got a, a tripod. It's the UV size tripod. I'm using that to film this video. So if you look at my previous videos, click the link in the bio to purchase the UV size. Um, the UB size tripod with the light on top of it. Cause this joint is on point. I feel free. I feel free, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, we got the Andis. This is the T outliner. Um, first and foremost, I really need to read the directions, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming you just slide this right up in there. You know, you just get this, bam, right here. You just slide it underneath, basically. I'm assuming I ain't got to read no directions for this. It should be self-explanatory, right? I'm assuming just, just get it up in that groove. Hold on, I'm having a little technical difficulties. But I'm assuming you just get it up in that groove. Get it up in there. Slide it first. Slide it in first. Woo. Then pop it on in. All right, cool. It slid in there real easy. Real easy. And then basically, um, <clears throat> I'm going to keep that how it is. I'm not going to mess with this. But, um, okay. Yeah, let's see if that, you know, I should, that should be straight right there, huh? And then we slide this back up on top. Slide it back on top, down. Shit, how this joint supposed to stay up? This is crazy. Like, what am I supposed to do? There ain't nothing to hold this down. Mm. All right, so we're going to do this. I might, I, might, I might fail, though. I might mess up. So what I'm going to do, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it like this. I guess that's what it's asking me, right? Put the little screws back up in there. It don't, I don't feel no tension being set. Like, I don't feel it 
I don't feel this working. <laughs> I don't really feel this working out like it should. All right, so. I mean, but these on the back for a reason. Maybe I need to read the directions. Subscribers, make sure you read the directions before you do anything. Anything. Read the directions. Shit. All right. As you can tell, this this video has not been planned. I ain't got no kind of script for this. I'm just freestyling it. Basically, just freestyling. All right, so what I'm doing, what I'm doing, I'm going to get to the directions. Um, I'm going to get to the directions real soon um, because I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but I might be right. So we're just going to tighten it up just a little bit so we have a little slack. And then we're going to... Um, Oh, we got a little movement here. We got a little movement, y'all. We just gonna push up on this. Yeah, we just gonna push up on it. That's all we gonna do. We gonna push up on it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit now. All right. All right, let me, I'm going to look at the directions for real, for real, y'all. I ain't, I ain't trying to mess this joint up. Yeah, you know I'm saying, let me just look at the directions right quick. All right, step one. It comes with good directions. Like a little cardboard joint. Okay, step one. Loosen the two screws, remove the blades. All right. Step two, take the blade, center it and slide it into the bottom of the blade setter. All right, snap it down for the back side uh, using your two thumbs, okay? Okay, so I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to loosen this? Step five to release, hold, bow. Uh, uh. All right, so I was wrong. All right, so let's do this out. We're gonna take that out. But I'm telling you, it feel, it feel like my blade should be connected. My blade is not connected. It's not one piece. So, it might be my blade. Because I don't think your blade should be able to fall out like this. Hell no, it's my blade. No wonder. Yeah, it's the blade. Like, is my blade supposed to be coming out like that? I don't know. No. Mm. All right, well, let's try to t follow the directions here. Okay, they say do this. They say do this. All right. There you go. That giant loose. All right, step one, y'all following me, right? Step one, loosen the two screws. Remove the top, remove the top small blade. So we removed it. All right, take the blade, um, center it, and slide into the bottom of the blade setter. All right, so we're gonna do that. Step two. All right, we did that. We slid it in. All right. Step three. Snap it down from the back side using your two fingers. Using your two thumbs. Sorry. All right, we did that. Grab the small blade and place it back on the top of the large blade. Push up on the small blade with thumb and hold with pressure while tightening up the two screws. Okay. So it was me. <laughs> Make sure y'all read these directions. <laughs> I was about to get mad. All right. So... All right. To release, hold with both hands using two fingers shown in the picture and bend downward until blade pops. All right. All right. Let's see if that worked. Okay. I see what it is. I see what it is. 
so i guess this little gray y'all see this little gray thing every time i move the blade this gray thing is moving too seems like a rookie move so no matter where i put this gray thing this um this fucking blade moves y'all see that all right here we go we're gonna nail it down we gonna put this down down y'all y'all ready one two three There it is, there it is. All right, so now we're gonna pop this out. All right, we're gonna pop this out. Mm. All right, so this shit should be straight now. Should be straight. And I saw another barber video just saying, basically run your fingers across it. And if you cut yourself, then basically, yeah, it's not set. So right now it's smooth, so it should be hitting good. So then what I'm going to do is basically um, put this back in its place, you know, where it belongs. All right, here we go. Here we go. We're getting it. Damn, once again, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down if you following this video but you just getting tired of this damn screw coming out give me a thumbs up for the screw come on give me a thumbs up y'all i'm begging you yeah we're gonna get through this we're gonna definitely get through this all right all right so we got there All right, word up. So it's on there. It's tight. It's tight. Mm. All right, so what I'm going to do next, I'm going to plug it up and cut some of this hair. Cut some of this hair on my um, my forearm here. Let's see how it looks, all right? What y'all think? Y'all think I should put some some music in the background? Maybe later. Once I get more subscribers, I'll put more music and all that other shit in the background. But for now, we ain't, we ain't doing all that. All right, so let's see. The song, it sounds it sound good. It's smooth. Let's see. Get that zoom in in there. Yeah, that joint cutting nice. Okay, that's on the money. All right, hold on. That's on the money. It's definitely on the money. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got a little line right there. No, it's not. Um. Okay, I like that, and it's hitting real good too. It's hitting good. Yeah, y'all see that? Y'all can see a difference. See, this is shaved. This is this is not shaved. So I'm gonna just keep going around the circle. I think I got more little hair back up in this jump. So we're gonna keep on cutting, cutting, cutting. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah, this is on the money. Shout out to the company um, that created this. Shout out to them. Damn, this was up. Yeah, so that's money. This is money um, well spent. $11. You know what I'm saying? If you're not a professional barber like myself, if you just, you know what I'm saying, you at the crib, you want to do something... You want to cut your own hair. This is definitely one of them products that you need to have in your arsenal. And you know what I'm saying? This is an unedited video. Maybe in the future I edit my videos. Um a lot of more a lot of more a lot more content coming up. Um but yeah, once again, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more videos. Um I really wanted to test this out on the walls because 
I want to make sure that these are um, on point too. I want to make sure these are on the money. But before I do that, we can already tell there's a problem. Well, shit, it, same, it, sh it should serve the same purpose. I ain't gonna lie to you. You would think, right? Uh, this shit gonna be in the way. Yeah, that's gonna be in the way. But um, Wall actually has a 1-800 number you can call to get their... Um, their adjuster for the five star T wides. So what I'm going to do is call. I'm going to contact Wall because uh, this is my bread and butter right here. But I'm gonna contact Wall to get the adjusters on that because I keep getting these fucking hair bumps and it's not cool. Um, I'm gonna contact Wall to get the adjustments and um, throw a review. You know what I'm saying? Throw a review up for you. All right. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Go get a Types YouTube channel. Um, shout out to UB Size. Shout out to Amazon. Shout out to On The Money. Because these are definitely on the fucking money. Yeah. And make sure you read the directions. Don't be like me. <laughs> Peace out.